Chef Magnus Eck is the chef and owner of Uwaksen Krug and Uwaksen Slip in Stockholm. Over the past five years, Uwaksen Krug has been named one of the world's top 50 restaurants by Restaurant Magazine. Chef Magnus Eck's cooking relies heavily on wild plants and ingredients from local farms. In this demonstration, Chef Eck shows us some wild herbs he has foraged. Uh, here is uh, some of the stuff we pick ourselves and some we buy. Uh, almost everything here is not farmed, it's just grow widely. Uh, if you start up here, this is actually not a domestic uh, herb here in, in Sweden, but it grows wide, widely here in, in, uh, on Djurgården. It's a uh, Spanish chervil. Uh, it has a very uh, anise flavor to it. Uh, here is some wild pea. Uh, we use it like pea sprouts. Uh, it's also now and maybe a couple of weeks more you can pick it. After, the while, after that they, it gets too uh, uh, woody and, and too much uh, texture to it. It's hard to eat. Here is some uh, wild sorrel who uh, also grow in abundance here on Djurgården. Uh, bishop uh, weed, the bishop weed, who is like a cabbage, uh, taste cabbage. Uh, here is the is the the blossoms from the ramson onion, uh, and here is the the leaves, both pickles. Uh, you can still find some ramson onion now in in uh, beginning of June but it's going down, uh, so that's why we pickle it. Here is some uh, elderberries, cappers, we uh, did last year. These ones are also picked here on, on, uh, on Djurgården. Uh, some uh, wild chive, uh, the blossoms from wild chives. Uh, this is uh, forest onion. I don't know if it's the correct English word, but we call it forest onion. It looks like a, a chive, but it also has a garlic taste to it. Here is some uh, polypod fern. Uh, quite time consuming to pick, but it's, uh, it's very rewarding to cook with because it tastes really much of it. It has a sweet licorice taste. Uh, you have to clean though these ones <laughs> very much more than they are clean now before you cook it. So uh, you have to work with it a lot. This we, uh, we use in a dessert. We make uh, like a syrup of it and we mix it with uh, uh, finely chopped uh, Spanish chervil. Uh, here is uh, some, uh, a mixture of uh, green junipers. I, uh, I like uh, green junipers better than uh, the, the dark ones because uh, they have a, a much fresher and uh, I think most of the time junipers just takes over. It's so overwhelming taste and uh, the green ones are a little bit, mid, bit more uh, tarry but taste much less, much easier to use and also a little bit sweeter. Than the, than the normal ones. So it's going to be used with, with uh, uh, smoked oxtail uh, marrow and uh, uh, calf's heart, a dish with that. Here is some uh, pine sprouts. These ones are maybe picked up a little bit late. They're starting, starting to, to get hard and, and, and uh, you can still eat it, but um, this we're gonna mix to a puree and use. We're using uh, pine uh, at the moment on a starter, uh, Amos Bush, with uh, some uh, cured ham we make ourselves. And, uh, but then we're using the, the grown up. Then we make an oil uh, with the, the pine uh, sprouts, do you, what we call this, the, the pikes, the, the nails and uh, <clears throat> making oil of that and preserving mushroom in it to who we serve with uh, the ham. And we also have some 
uh, finely uh, minced uh, pine, pine needles, I think it's called. Chef Eck prepares a dish from Uwaxin Krug's new menu, Scandinavian oyster with kohlrabi noodles, seared lettuce, quinoa chips, and wild herbs. So here's the oyster. Start up with open the oyster. This is a, a Swedish balloon. Looked a bit dried up. And uh, here I have some uh, just cooked ordinary lettuce. Who uh, we cook it first in, in really salty water, so it won't turn uh, gray. The salt uh, makes it uh, stay green, even if it's cooked. Uh, in the two pans here, I have uh, a curd of field milk. Uh, field milk is the it's like a yogurt. Uh, in here is egg white, field milk, and butter. We, uh, we cook and then mix together. Uh, in the second pot, I have uh, some uh, kohlrabi, who is uh, just uh, cut up in, in, uh, in small pieces. And uh, we cook it in, in the whey uh, from the field milk and add some butter to it. So it's almost a bit like uh, a beurre blanche style. Uh, but with the whey from the fee milk instead. And this is, uh, the curd is like lukewarm. Uh, the oyster is, uh, is cold but you, you get it a little bit cooked on the plate because the plate is also a bit warm and together with the curd. Normally I, I do this on the grill because uh, you get more flavor from a, a lettuce doesn't taste so much but if you, uh, you, if you do it over charcoal grill it will taste a little bit more. Uh, to it, we, we have some uh, Ramson oil, onions, some wild uh, onions. Pickle, we, we pickle it in, in uh, ethic, sugar and salt. Here is some uh, uh, bishop uh, weed, I just found out what is <laughs> the name in English was. Some uh, wild peas and uh, dog violets. And also we have some uh, quinoa chips. So, and uh, here's the dish.